This song is called uh, A Postcard to Nina. And I've told the story a million times, but I will tell it again for AOL. About two summers ago, I went down to Berlin to meet my old pen pal Nina because I knew that she and her girlfriend were moving to America and I just wanted to see her one last time and hang out in Berlin because it's nice there. And so I took the cheapest bus I could find down to uh, Zobam Funkturm, the big bus station there. She was waiting for me. She took my bags and we started walking through the, through the warm Berlin summer nights. And she said, are you hungry? Because you, you look kind of hungry. And I said, yeah, I'm hungry. Well, my parents are cooking up some good German vegetarian food right now. If you want to try some of that. And I said, yeah, that sounds good. Even though I wasn't familiar with the concept of German vegetarian food. I mean, I'm thinking German food and I'm thinking bread, cheese, meat. Maybe meat and cheese baked into bread. But I was, I was ready for adventures and I was there for adventures. I wanted to try something, whatever, whatever was in front of me. So we passed the German opera, the opera house, and went into the house, the staircase. And she all of a sudden, she turned to me and she said, there's something I got to tell you. I might have told my parents something along the lines that we're engaged, that you're my boyfriend. And I didn't know what to say. I was just staring at her and just then, the door opened and a big man was standing there and the smell of tomatoes and basil oozed, oozed out into the hallway and he said you must be Jens and that's where it all started Nina I can't be your boyfriend so you can't stay with your girlfriend your father is a sweet old man But it's hard for him to understand That you want to love a woman Nina, I can't be your boyfriend If it puts an end to all this nonsense First time I see you in Berlin And you don't tell me anything Until outside your dad's apartment Oh, God, Jesus Christ, I try to focus on your eyes. We're having dinner with your family now. Keep a steady look at your left eyebrow. If it's raised, it means yes. If it's not, it means take a guess. Hey, you stop kicking my legs. I'm doing my best. Can you pass the fish? So we're sitting by the dinner table. And her father, this big German man, he's leaning across the table and he grabs my arm and he says that he, he's heard my music and that he's bought it, bought my record. He says, I really like it. You have a beautiful voice. And I start blushing. He says, can I put on your record? And I say, yeah, that's okay. And I think it's very, very awkward. Father puts on my record He says, so tell me how you met her uh, I get a little nervous and I change the subject I put my hand on some metal object He laughs and says, that's a lie detector He takes out the booklet and starts reading So I heard you're moving out next season I say, yeah, New York is nice that time of year, almost as green as it is here. He says, I thought you were moving back to Sweden. 
Oh God, what have I done? I came to Berlin to have some fun, and the clock on the wall strikes four, five, six on your father's wall. A big crucifix. Guess that's why it won't let you go. It's a Catholic card, it's big and slow. You know I'll do anything for love, but Nina, what were you thinking of? But Nina, I can be your boyfriend. So you can stay with your girlfriend. Your father's mailing me all the time. He says he just wants to say hi. I send back out of office all the replies. Nina, I just want to check in. Cause I think about you every second. So I send you this postcard just to say. Don't let anyone stand in your way. Yours truly, Jens Lickman. Don't 